So here we have two questions where we are going to multiply the two brackets together. In each of these brackets, there are two terms. So we call that a binomial. Bi meaning two, like a bicycle. It's got two wheels. So we're going to multiply these two binomials together. Now there's various ways to do this. I've seen teachers using different techniques. But a nice simple way to do it is as follows. So what we need to do is everything in this bracket must multiply with everything in that bracket. Okay, so whichever order you want to do, but as long as you do, each thing has to be multiplied with the other. So, so the first thing we're going to start, I'm going to start off with is this one over here, x. Now this x has to multiply with this, and it's also going to have to multiply with that. So let's do that. x times x is x squared. Then we have x times by 2, or plus 2, so that's going to be plus 2x. So we've done all we've done this x now. Now we need to look at this minus 3, which needs to multiply with that x, and it needs to multiply with that plus 2. So minus 3 times by x is minus 3x. And minus 3 times by positive 2 is minus 6. What we now do is we scan across these four terms and we see if there are any like terms. Well, yes, there are. 2x and 3x are like terms, and so positive 2x minus 3x is, well, what's 2 minus 3? Well, that's minus 1. So that's going to be x squared minus 1x minus 6, and that's the answer for that first one. Moving on to the next one. So we know that this x over here has to be multiplied by this x, and it also has to be multiplied by that 2. So let's start. So x times x is x squared. x times by 2 is positive 2x. Now this 7 has to be multiplied by that x and it has to be multiplied by that 2. So 7 times x is 7x and 7 times 2 is 14. There we go. Then what we do is we scan these four terms once again and we put any like terms together where here we have a 2x and a 7x. So 2x plus 7x is... 9x plus 14.